a great day at 9A. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Scott Haney here. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Went to the River Tavern last night. How was it? It was really delightful. It's a great restaurant. Right in Chester. If you haven't been to Chester in a while, I saw Norm Murphy's shop. Uh, she, I didn't see her oh, in the shop. Yeah. But it was open. And I was like, there were so many quaint shops. It was, And it was after the rain had ended. It was so beautiful to be on those quaint streets and uh, Main Street in Chester. Right in the village there. Right in the village. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Check it out. They have some really great restaurants there. And they have a farmer's market free every Sunday. It's huge. They close down the streets there in the village. Is, is Dogs really? are welcome. Yeah, it's oh. so much fun. Great for the families. Oh, that's terrific. I love I'm that. I'm glad you had a nice dinner. Yeah, it was that's really nice. Awesome. How are you? I'm well, thanks. We went to the beach yesterday. You did? It, right before it started uh, storming. Say, okay. And yeah, the Channel 3 app helped guide us uh, back home safely before the storm started. Isn't and, that yeah, great? It was great. Love that resource. Kicking off the summer, though, you know? Terrific. All right, so let's get to the headlines. All right, let's kick off the headlines. The Federal Reserve kept interest rates exactly where they are, which could be good news for your finances. This is the first month that the Fed has skipped a rate increase since March of 2022. That means that we've had 10 straight increases. Can you believe that? That's incredible. Oof. Right now, inflation has dropped to 4%, but the Feds want to see it drop to 2%. Yeah, so do we. And if there's another jump, the group could move rates up again at the next meeting in July. Yeah, and this could mean interest rates on things like mortgages, cars, loans, and credit cards come down. Oh, I hope they do. I know. Like, I know comparatively speaking, as Alexa always tells us, the mortgage rates are still pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're high compared to where we were a year or two, two years ago. Right. I was, I'm at three and a quarter on one of my, on, wow. on, on my mortgage. That's great. It's really good. It's like you're locked in at that price. Locked in at that price. Yeah. And now it's like seven, over 7% in parts yes. of the, so it's, Which it's is, I get, and again, like you were saying, Alexa like says all 18, perspective. Right, exactly. You know, when like my was, parents bought their house, I think it was like 17 or something, which is crazy. But another thing, have you noticed the credit card companies are trying to get you in and then you see after the year how much the oh, interest yeah, they is? Jack it up. It's like over 24%. I was just about to say 26%. 25%? Yeah. Oh, so Incredible, especially if you use the retail credit cards. Mm -hmm. I know the retail ones really hit you. Whoa. Yeah. Pay those off on time. Absolutely. All right, a family in Willimantic is hoping a new reward will help crack a 70-year-old cold case. 73-year-old William Alvarado was killed in his apartment back in 2016. Police still have not found his killer, but Governor Lamont has approved a $50,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Willimantic police says uh, say details, big or small, will help them with their investigation. We're going to continue to follow this case and let you know if a reward helps spark a new lead for the Alvarado family. Hopefully it will. Yeah, absolutely. $50,000. Any tip, big or small. Any tip that leads to the case, mm -hmm. to, to uh, the uh, conviction of a, of, a, of a killer. Police say they've arrested the man responsible for defacing Hartford's Black Lives mural mat, uh, Matter mural for with racist messages. Yeah, remember this story? Well, the city is ready to unveil the new and improved mural this weekend. So last weekend, the mural on Trinity Street was painted over with a swastika and other racist messages. Officials say surveillance cameras led to 36-year-old Franklin Scott. He was arrested yesterday. On Monday, artists came together to fix the mural, and the new version will be unveiled with a ceremony on Sunday. And uh, we also heard that where the swastika was painted, yeah, they painted a big they painted heart. A huge red heart right there. Which is really it. nice. You I know, like that. Love wins. Love always. wins. Kindness always wins. Kindness always wins, which is good. <laughs> you know what also wins? What? Good weather. Yes, it certainly does. Yesterday it was rock and roll here in the state. Today, today's a winner. Today's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a topless Kansas State dry. It was Nicole. She was chirping like a chicken. Uh, future cast, tomorrow's weather today. There could be a sprinkle today with a mixture of sun and clouds, but not a big deal. Get out there and enjoy it because this is one of the nicer of the next seven days. I know it's hard to believe. Uh, tonight, we should be under partly cloudy skies. This is tomorrow morning. We're good to go. And then tomorrow, the storms come in a little bit later. Uh, this is 2 p.m., so we're still good to go. But you'll notice scattered showers and thunderstorms storms start rolling in tomorrow evening into very early Saturday morning. This is Friday night at 10 o'clock. There could be some showers and some thunderstorms in the state in northern Connecticut. And then uh, they'll uh, roll through Saturday. Saturday's looking wet. I'm just being honest with you, okay? We're going to be dealing with showers on and off throughout the day. That could add up. So today, 80 degrees in inland Connecticut, mid to upper 70s along the shoreline with a mixture of clouds and sun. And I'll be back with your three-day forecast coming up a little bit later on in the show.
All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome. And thanks for the bad news for the rest of the week. Know, just right? kidding. Just uh, kidding. You're just the messenger. All right. Here's some good news. According to a new poll, Connecticut is one of the best states in the country for working dads. Apparently, we came in third on the Wallet Hub ranking. Massachusetts and Washington, D.C. rank first and second. The study is based on factors like the average length of workday, child care costs, and overall health. More than 93% of married fathers in our state have a full full-time job outside of the home. New Mexico was the worst state, though, for dads. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what all those dads are doing down there. Well, all the states in the Northeast are in the top 15. Oh, that's so good to know. That's New good to England, know. Northeast, we're doing something right. Good to find a man here in New York. There you go. I mean, in Connecticut. In Connecticut or New York. Or New you York. can find a man in, in New York, I'll too. Find a man want. anywhere. I'm still <laughs> looking. All right, now, this is a great story that you brought yeah. to our attention. Did you remember SRO, our Earl Middleton from Stafford Schools, school resource officer? He came on Great Day at 9A to show off his school cooking skills. He's in our monitor. Oh, oh remember look. this with his Yay. son, Little Earl. Little remember Earl, Little right? Earl? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that was so much little fun. Little Earl gave him a little hard time there. Yeah, I he loved did. It. He, was he was busting his chops. He was certainly no was. pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> well, uh, so Big Earl made us a delicious 40 clove garlic chicken, that was and it's so good. Turns out he has some other hidden talents. Really? Check this out. Earl played saxophone in the student and staff band concert. Where is he? Uh, he no, he has a guitar. I was going to say, did he play sax too? So, uh, yeah, he actually played the guitar. He's a guitar player in a band as well, he was saying. Um, and this was the staff band concert with the students at Stafford Elementary earlier this week. Look at them. Look at them go. He was part of the performance along with talented students, band teacher Emma Sales and principal Mary Claire Manning. What a way to end the school know, year, right? How is great awesome. is that? A little concert <laughs> to send them off. That is wonderful. School of Rock. The School of Stafford Rock. Stafford is the School of Rock. That's what I'm going to name them. But so what? You know what? If he picked up a saxophone, he'd probably know how to play that he as well. He probably would. He has so many talents. He's, he really does. He's such a great guy. And, you know, Stafford was so supportive when he came on to the show to cook on the high school cooking club. Remember, they were in the yep, audience yep, there yep, and everything. Yep, yep. So that's what, what an awesome community. So happy summer, Stafford. Happy summer, Stafford. I like that. It's like a billboard. A little alliteration there. All right. A Meriden pizza shop had to shut down early yesterday because they ran out of pizza. Yeah. So the pizza shop is called Little Rendezvous and they got a big shout out from the website Barstool Sports prompting a run on pizza. This is incredible. Little Rendezvous is a hole in the wall pizza shop that some people we talked to said that they, they didn't even know it was there. The pizza oven there is 135 years old. Wow. Barstool Sports gave the shop one of the highest scores ever in the series of pizza reviews on the site. They gave him a 9.1. That's really good. That's huge. The Russian judge gave them a 5. <laughs> and they had to shut down by 5.30 last night because they were literally out of dough, as in pizza dough. But they were not out of dough, out as of, in cash. As though. in cash. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. Little but rendezvous. 135-year-old pizza oven? That's incredible. I think they're giving New Haven a run for their money. Absolutely. Right? We're so going to have to cool. make a road trip. We really should check that out. Either that or send Marcy. Oh. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> great day at 9A, great idea. <laughs>